Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd talk about carbon fiber rods in a 3D printer. Um, you don't see a lot of this. Um, the first time I saw it again was uh, in the Carbon X1. And I guess somehow they perfected uh, a way to get the carbon fiber uh, tubes even and uh, perfect. But let me show you how I prep mine and the difference in the uh, different types of bearings, linear bearings you could actually have. Um, so to prep them, uh, so I got these on Amazon, these were like eight bucks. And the issue with these rods is, yeah, I even took my calipers, is that they're not even, they're not flat. Like they have a bunch of peaks and ridges on them. So you have to knock the tops and smooth it out. Um, and the best way I, I, I figured out how to do this was just to hook this up to a drill and go back and forth as you spin it. So hook this up to your drill or lathe, whatever you have, just make sure you don't tighten it too much, you don't want to crush this. And go back and forth, you know. Um, I actually started off with a heavier grit, then went down to a smaller grit. And then I ended up with a, a 1200 grit, or this is 400 grit, I actually ended up, I ended up with 1200 grit paper. So it's super smooth, um, and it's even too. So let me show you the, so I got the rods prepped, but let me show you the bearings now. So there's a couple different kind of bearings you can use. Uh, you can use like a, this Igus bearing, this plastic self-lubricating bearing. The issue with this one, I think, is that because even though it's very smooth, it's still abrasive, the carbon fiber tube. But I mean, it definitely feels smooth on here, right? So this was originally my first choice. Um, and then you also have the option for like the, the, the traditional like uh, ball bearing style. But the problem is the ball bearings are a lot harder than this carbon fiber. You know, wear grooving these things in no time at all. So you definitely don't want to use like a traditional ball bearing, uh, linear ball bearing in there. So, um, all right. So let me show you also. This is very similar to what the Carbon X1 uses, um, and the tolerances are actually a lot better. Um, because originally they would actually work with the I guess right, but then to get this to work, I'll put links down below for all the stuff that I have here. Um, this is going to be for a new print I'm designing. It's called the Celeritas. I'll show you when I'm done with this. Um, it's going to be an ultra crazy fast 3D printer. It's not going to be a Core XY, it's going to be a cross gantry. Sort of like the uh, uh, Annex uh, K3, but with all carbon fiber rods. Um, so this is actually an oil, uh, it's, I guess it's called oil impregnated bronze, with these little graphite, uh, little, like little lubrications. I think they're called like lubrication sleeves or something like that, but. Um, but they're self-lubricating. But it's, it's very similar to what the Carbon X1 uses. So I got all this for like less than 20 bucks. Uh, these are 8mm rods. Uh, maybe 6mm. Let's measure my calipers. Um, but yeah, you can feel. So I had to go back and I had to sand it down. And when I was doing it, I was sanding it down slowly. As I was going to sand it right until I could get this to go on there. I mean, this, there was no like, there was no science, you know. Um, I just I hit kind of touched my calipers, but I kept on sanding it until I could get this on there, right? I mean, not so tight where it's not going to move and cut into it, but yeah, that feels like super nice and smooth. So, all right. So, um, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, let me uh, I'll show you the the printer. Well, if you're new to my channel, um, I design, uh, fix, and repair 3D printers. So I fix 3D printers for like customers, schools, like local school districts. It's sort of like a side hustle. It's not like my, I mean, I work in IT with my private business, but uh, I enjoy actually designing 3D printers and different things. But so this is my Orca. It's quad, the uh, unique thing about this is it's quad belt, quad uh, quad uh, motor, quad tilt. So it has, see it has the, the things in here. So uh, that's unique about that printer. I haven't seen anyone else do that before. But all right, so this is the going to be the Celeritas. Um, I don't know, I have some of the parts here, here, but I think you're going to get the idea. So I have metal rods here, um, but it's going to be a cross gantry design. It's going to be kind of like like this and this, but they're going to be like an Annex K3 cross design, but ultra crazy light carriage. So the goal here is speed. So. Got, I mean, I designed all this stuff. It's called Celeritas. Uh, Celeritas is a, uh, you know, speed for in Latin, so Latin for speed. Um, but it's going to be a quad drive motor. So I got the quad motors up here. 
these are uh, Sanyo Denki's Japanese stepper motors. Um, so I, I got all this stuff. I mean, I've already designed everything. I just got to mount it now. Like the, what's it called? The mount here. But yeah, so if you're interested in the carbon fiber rods and uh, cross gantry, not a, it's not going to be Core XY. It's going to be cross gantry. So um, yeah, and the rods just fit in here. So I have one thing on that way. I think I like that. Look at that. So it's going to be like a prod. I know I suck at making videos. <laughs> okay. uh, on the top like that. Okay. So, cross, cross gantry. Um, but in this type of speed with the four drive motors and how light this thing is, this thing is going to be crazy fast. So I haven't, I'm still kind of debating if I'm going to do a Bowden tube or direct drive. Um, like I said, the direct drive is nice, but it's adds so much weight adding a motor up there and an extruder. Um, Alright, so if you're interested in this kind of stuff and you want to see these carbon fiber rods in action, uh, subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, cool, having fun.